Look how beautifully that blends. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. If you're new, what's up? My name is Shai. Oh, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. We're going to do a classic red lip holiday festive type makeup look i love this time of year i feel like you can really go for it especially when you're going to like parties like it's very much glitz and glam party season so you can really get your full glam on which i love but today i'm going to do a classic red lip look i will do a few more looks throughout the season but for now we're going to start with a classic simple vibe so let's get into it we're going to get into the skin i've already prepped my skin because i was going to come in and do skincare but honestly guys my skin was just so dry this morning i needed to do extra tlc so skin prep is done brows are done as always i do need to blend them a little bit but let's get into the complexion today we're actually going to use an old favorite which i haven't used that much on my channel i noticed my nars natural radiant longwear foundation this is in the shade namibia i actually need to prime i'm going to use my mua pro base primer today i need to give my milk a bit of a break because i've been using her so much i need to chill out because she is not cheap I mentioned it in the vlog before, I cannot wait to get a new freaking install, I'm over this wig. So over it. We're going to do two pumps today because we're going to do something a bit more glam. So I'm just going to start pressing that in to the skin. I don't understand why the sun shining like this and it's December. Okay, let's go. got a perfect complexion now. I'm going to use my Be Perfect primer that I've literally been rolling with me for the longest time it's like my only eye primer but i really like it so that's mostly blended i'm now gonna go into the eyes i'm gonna use the september rose brew palette it's black owned it's just a very nice like neutrally brownie warm tone like full palette we're just gonna go for something very simple and like matte on the eyes i'm gonna go into cinnamon and i'm gonna pop that under my brow bone i think i just washed my brushes they haven't dried much i'm just gonna go in with this Lily England 110 brush. Just pop that over here. Just gonna pop that here. Let's get rid of that. It's gonna be a very quick eye look. I want all the dramatic to be on the red lip. So I'm actually gonna try using Puer, the shade called Puer, I think that's how you say it. And then I'm also gonna go into loose leaf. We're just gonna define that out of the give us a bit of drama. We don't want the lip to be too flat. So once I'm applying that definition shade, I'm gonna go with a blending brush and just blend any of the harshness down. We're going for something like really blown out and effortless, so you want to make sure I think blended. So I'm just going in circles. For the lid shade, I'm actually gonna go into I'm gonna go into ginger. And that is pretty much the eye. Very simple matte eye look. Sorry, I zoomed you guys in even more when I'm finished the eyes. But this is basically how the eyes look. So very simple, like blown out look. Today I'm going to use my Shy Girl Lashes from my brand. And then I'm going to come back and do the rest of the face. But I love how the eyes came out. Very simple, soft glam. We're going to get the drama, the lips. Okay, so let's continue. My lash is literally on its last leg, so... Let's hope these are on because they cannot be taken off again. Like, it's just not even going to work. So let's go into concealer. I'm going to use my Revolution Infinite Concealer, one of my faves. This is in C13.5. It looks like this. So we're just going to go like our normal routine. I think I'm going to go for something really high coverage. Then I'm also going to add my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade NW40. And actually, I'm going to blend this out first and then add that on top just for extra coverage. But that MAC NW40 is going to give you such a flawless look. Very photo ready and just like really good. But I'm going to blend this out. I'm using the Juno & Co Storm Cloud sponge. I'm just going to blend this in. And it just gives me the perfect shade for under my eye. I just love the tone of it, it's so pretty. I'm gonna go with the MAC that I showed you guys. I'm just gonna do pump in a little bit, not that much. Just 
apply it right there. I'm gonna put a little bit up here. And I'm gonna leave this to sit for a second, maybe about 30 to 40 seconds, just so it kind of tacks down a little bit. And I find that it gives you the best coverage and also just looks more flawless because I think, especially when you're using a liquid um, concealer and you're using a damp sponge, sometimes like a lot of the product can go into your sponge. So leaving it to sit, it's just gonna give it that extra fullness and it kind of sticks to your skin a little bit better. Right here, I don't really highlight too much of my forehead, but I found that it kind of balances everything out. So I've been doing it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna blend out this nose highlight before we get into contouring. I look super bright. I'm using my Revolution concealer, which I need a new one. I feel like it's getting a bit dry. This is literally like my favorite part, doing makeup. Getting that color back into the skin and I use the same like side I was putting the concealer on and blend any of the edges. Nose contour. I'm just gonna Oh, is she stiff? I need to hurry up. So for the under eyes, I'm gonna use um, a little bit of my hood out and then I'm gonna put Laura Mercier on top. Just cause I did use quite a bright concealer, I wanna tone it down, then add brightness without adding too much brightness. I don't know if that makes sense, but in my head it makes sense. <laughs> And now I'm gonna go into the Laura Mercier. This is in Translucent Honey and I'm gonna use my same sponge. It's still kind of damp. And then we're gonna I'm gonna use my Revolution Glow Bronzer. This one is in the shade Dark. Absolutely love this. So I'm just gonna start. Was that a lot? I feel like that was a lot. <laughs> This is one of the brushes I was thinking of coming out with. And I actually might because it's just like perfect for bronzer. Because I find that sometimes like some bronzer brushes I have, it either applies too much or too little. But this one like really gets everywhere and just does, it just understands the assignment. Okay. I'm gonna go in and press this powder into my skin. So I'm literally gonna use the same sponge and just tap gently and get it all to press in. I'm just gonna tap gently and press in. And when I first used to do this, I was scared. Like, why isn't the powder moving? We just have to continue pressing, and it will literally melt in and give you the most like flawless under eyes. You see how it's like melting. And then I'm gonna go in with my dark bronzer just go over the edges to make sure i have that warmth because sometimes when you put something really bright under your eyes you can make the risk or run the risk of looking a little bit like cold for blush i'm actually going to use my morphe glamour bronze in supreme because this does read a bit like a blush i'm just going to apply this on the apples it gives me a bit more blush than bronzer but it's still not like red enough to be too much of a blush do I want to put anything on my lower lash line? I think I am. I'm going to do a little lower lash line action. So I think I'm going to mimic basically what's going on on the top. So we're just going to define the outer, my lower lash line outer. And I'm going to take Pua, which is the, I keep saying Pua. If that is not how I say it, I'm so sorry. But I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to just put it right under here. And it's hard for me to do this quite precisely because I have really, really small eyes. So it can get very like 
heavy quick so i gotta be really careful if you guys know any good mascaras please let me know because i'm running out of these like little sample sizes i have and i only use mascara on like my bottom lash line or to like prime my lashes to put lashes on so i'm not looking for anything super expensive because i don't really use it that much so that's the eyes that i actually really like little low lash line vibe that i came up with now i'm gonna go on to a little glow and then lips which is the main the main so for highlight today i'm gonna use my shy beauty highlight and blaze i just feel like liquid highlight like most of my products like most of the time i like to set my face with powder a little on my nose Today I'm going to use my Revolution Pro Supreme Hold. I'm just going to... So while that dries, I'm going to figure out my lip colour. Okay, so now this is nearly dry. We're going to go on to lips. So I am going to use my MAC... <coughs> Gosh, what's wrong with my voice? I'm going to use my MAC Tiala Taylor um, Red Lipstick, which I absolutely love. It's called Rose in Harlem. I know it's probably not available anymore because it was limited edition. My freaking favourite Ruby Woo is nearly done. I'm just going to swatch them on my hand for you guys. That is Ruby Woo. How beautiful is that? It's like the perfect matte red lippy. I love it. It's like the perfect blue red. Then I have a MAC Tiana Taylor. This is also a matte lipstick, but I feel like this formula is much more creamy and much more moisturising. So as you guys can see, a Rose in Harlem is a little bit more... A brighter red whereas ruby Woo is much more deeper i might go for ruby actually i'm feeling like ruby today <laughs> and then i also have the gloss to it which is called tens across the board which is like a beautiful vampy red so if you want a gloss this will be cute look at that like as much as people like sleep on mac their lip gloss formula who, who you know Please let me know because red is one of them hard colours to do. Please let's talk about that. Oh, if you guys could ever get your hands on this, get it. I did a video when it came out so you guys can't tell me I ain't tell you. Flawless. So when it comes to lip liner for a red lip, I like to do something like really, really dark brown, almost black. Because I feel like it gives a really nice ombre. So I'm going to use Richie and a little bit of my black liner. This is the Makeup Revolution, just regular black liner. So I'm going to use Richie first and then I'm going to deepen it with the black but I'm going to clean off my lips first. Now I'm going to go with a little bit of black just in the outer corners. You guys might think I'm being crazy but you guys want to see how it comes together. Then we're going to go in with Ruby Woo. Look how beautifully that blends. And it has that really like dark outer like lip line so it looks very like I just obsessed I love this I used to struggle with like a red lip especially when I was first getting into like bold lipsticks I used to struggle with a red lip because I just felt like a red lip liner that most other girls would wear like they'd wear like a red lip liner with their red lip it just wouldn't it wouldn't flatter me but I found that doing this like really really dark brown liner with a bit of black and blending it all in like absolutely obsessed with this lip I'm literally just gonna take this off because I'm really scared I'm gonna get it everywhere you guys are gonna have to not judge me right now because my lash glue is on its last leg which is why the lash situation was struggling today but i really didn't notice that this lash was not she wasn't on the eye let's just ignore that but um this is the finished look do we love do we love do we love i guess that wraps up today's festive holiday glam hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give me a nice thumbs up Comment down below what's your favourite red lip for the holiday season. Like, what's you guys' faves? Because I only have MAC and I'm sticking with them. I'm sticking beside MAC when it comes to red lip. Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. You made it this far in the video, might as well. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you guys can see my uploads. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.